and I look at 47th Street, which for those of us who grew up in my generation was the center of the universe. The memories that I carried, the Palm Tavern, so many of the 113 Club, and so many of the Regals, boy. When I take a group on tour, I can no longer point to the physical. I have to try to dramatically explain the historical. If I had the combination of two, the two I do, what could happen if you went to London? or to Paris or Rome or mm. any of those places and they're torn down Teach the that. history. Teach that. I learned this as I grew that if you want to destroy a person of people's history, mm -hmm. it's easiest to start it by tearing down the physical. Mm. Then the story right. does not have the same reality that that has when you can point to those places, like the old 8th Regiment Armory. Mm -hmm. I'm honored, and wish it, you know, I could talk on and on and on for these 94 years that I've hung around here in Chicago. Amen. But I am so fortunate that a young man that I met a long time ago, he can tell you the years, and he was much younger then. <laughs> and he became a person that was determined to carry forward the history, even when he was in high school, to carry forward that history so that younger people coming behind him would see what his parents and those of my generation had tried to succeed in maintaining. And so it is my honor to say that an award being given to Harold Lucas Black and others um, to deal with community organizing. I'm a classic community organizer and I know who we are and I know that this is Mecca and this is the promised land that Dr. King didn't get to with us and it ain't about going back south pushing us out of the inner city. The Mecca is right here. So we need our own tour buses and we introduced we introduced the green light movement our pedicabs. These are workforce development, job creation, and know this, the areas change. When I went to high school, I could work in the steel mill and bring home $1,500 every two weeks. Right? The whole industry's changed. It is now an outdoor recreational area from McCormick Place all the way to the South Lakefront region of Chicago. Look out for the Millennium Reserve Initiative. Look out for Lakeside where they build a whole new city out there in the Southern Florida. Don't start me to talking, y'all, because this ain't about you know, me retiring, 
This is about the Emancipation Proclamation. And until I drop it, I'm going to be on it like they stole something from us, but they did. <laughs> yes, sir.